J5 Create is no stranger to making video related devices. A while ago we looked at some of their other products. They were well made and did exactly what they claimed they would do. This time we are looking at a video capture device, the JVA04, aimed at console gamers. We are first going to look at the physical features of the device, then connectivity possibilities and finally we are going to do some video capturing using the JVA4. Let's start with the unboxing. I'll start with the cables. We have a HDMI cable, a USB Type-C cable and an audio cable, some paperwork and finally the device itself. Physical properties? As far as the styling goes, it's all black with brushed aluminum surface with one long LED on one side. As usual, the build quality is pretty good. All of the ports are labeled clearly, something that I sure appreciate. There is a print that says 4K UHD. This may be confusing to some as it refers to the 4K HDMI pass through, not 4K capture. Printing full HD would have made more sense if you ask me. The connection ports are HDMI in and beside it there is a HDMI out. This is a pass through that allows up to 4K 60Hz to pass through. On the other end, we have an audio in and an audio out. And finally, we have the USB Type-C port. Now the connection possibilities. How J5 Create advertises the JVA4 to be used is by taking the HDMI out from your gaming console to plug into the HDMI in port and from the HDMI out goes to the TV or display. The audio in comes from your controller and audio out is for your headset. This will allow voice communications to be captured as well. Finally, the USB Type-C cable goes to your computer. It can be any laptop or desktop, doesn't matter. Before we do anything, one thing needs to be dealt with and that is to disable the HDCP. HDCP prevents most capture methods, hardware or software from recording. The first setup I'm going to be testing using the HDMI bypass and capture to a second computer. To capture, we simply need to install the J5Create's capture software or there are other softwares that will work as well and pretty much hit record. It will find the capture device automatically and also shows the live feed on the preview. So far so good. The capture takes place without any issues as expected. HDMI carries both video and audio so both is captured at the same time as well. Next test is to do with capturing the gaming in the same computer. This is where our first road bump arises. I use a display port cable to connect to this monitor. The JVA4 does not have any provisions for display ports. The remedy I came up with is to use a spare HDMI port from the computer and use that as a source. Before we proceed, one more thing that needs to be addressed is we go to the display properties in the computer and then set the device and the monitor I'm going to be gaming in to be duplicate. This way, what I see on the monitor goes to the video capture device as well. To the computer, it appears as just another monitor. So it will mirror with a 4K monitor, no issues there. The third and the final test is the usual intended method of connection from a console. In this case, we have a Nintendo Switch. Here is what I noticed. The preview on the computer screen has a rather low latency, low enough that I can play the game on the preview screen. This is an unexpected bonus, as this opens up possibilities for some more ways of using the JVA4. In fact, yet another use is HDMI output from a camera that can be used to live telecast using a laptop. These days we can simply hotspot using our phone and therefore we can go live from pretty much anywhere there is cellular network. As I keep thinking, I seem to stumble upon more uses for such a device. Uh, if there is a use that I have not mentioned yet, please do feel free to let me know in the comments below. Now the quality aspects. 
full HD at 60 frames per second, it delivers. Quality wise, I am not blown away. To maintain the high frame rate and the pixel count, sacrifices had been made. The video runs at about 20 Mbps with peaks of about 25. I would have preferred it to average at about 40 Mbps. The result of this low bitrate is more color banding than smooth gradients. For comparison, we have a video captured by the AMD Relief powered by a Radeon RX 580. This comparison video is in 4K but at 30 frames per second. The bitrate averages at about 65 Mbps with max of 105. While the smoothness of motion is better with the JVA4, the color and image quality is definitely better with the Radeon. Having said this, the power of a dedicated graphics card is not always applicable. I did keep an eye on the CPU usage for the JVA4 and it passes with flying colors. So this device can be used with an old spare computer or a laptop so long as there is space to store the captured videos. Approximately the captured video uses about 140 megabytes per minute of recorded video as opposed to the 440 for the Radeon. The smaller video size provides advantages not only in terms of storage but also for ease of handling when it comes to editing a video. So what are my thoughts? Well, as far as delivering what is promised, there is no issues. As always, the build quality from J5 Create is decent. If possible, the only thing that I would ask J5 Create to do is to update the capture software to give us some more choices. If we were allowed a lower frame rate to increase the image quality, that would have been nice. Maybe they may adopt this in the future update. Go up the ladder! Fight the ball goblins. Fight those ball goblins. First, that guy has a spear. All in all, external video capture devices has its place. There are many ways they can be adapted for use, some straightforward, others a bit more creative. As a bridge between console gaming and content creation, I believe this is a reasonable place to start. That is all for this video, I thank you for watching. What you liked or disliked about this video, please do feel free to leave a note in the comment section below. Also, side note, I have a second channel, it's called Property Technical. There I share all my secrets about dealing in properties, flipping, building, knocking down properties and so on and so forth. I shall see you in the next video and until then, you take care of yourself.